Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered Oni Island, the fortress of the Dark Lord of Ryoshima Coast. We also met Toby, the greatest evil being of all time, and we raced with him uh, in a bunch of a bunch of obstacle courses that he had set up. It's a very interesting concept, and I hope to see a lot more of it this episode, and I believe that we will. Uh, you might have noticed that I have switched my sword over to Seven Strike. Uh, I kind of decided which ep I I kind of thought uh, what weapon would be best to take uh, take the Dark Lord down, and it was a tough call between the Exorcism beads, which we got for defeating Blight, which I can only assume that Blight was was the Dark Lord's ally, since they're sort of working toward the same purpose. Uh, it was a tough call between that and Seven Strike. Though, eventually, I, d I settled on 7 Strike simply because we haven't done quite as much with 7 Strike, I don't think. We've had exorcism beads, and we've used them for more. We've taken down a boss with them, aka the bandit spider, and I just feel like that those have seen a lot of use, and I should swap out a weapon. Uh, there was a third, there was a third decision. I kind of, I kind of wondered, uh, if I should use Infinity Judge? I, I'm still, I'm still dis waffling on that decision. Just because it's, first of all, it's an awesome weapon. Second of all, it's, we haven't used it in a long time, and it's not like it's outdated, it's a third tier weapon. So, like, even now, I'm still kind of waffling, and, uh, it's, it's a very tough call. But, actually, you know what, no. Let, let's go with Infinity Judge. I know it doesn't really quite have the irony the, of us defeating defeating Rao with, you know, the weapon of Sound City, or defeating her with the weapon of Blight, but the Infinity Judge, I mean, we're judging her. It says, a reflector marked uh, indelibly with the loop of Infinity, judges evil. I guess we could, yeah, you know what? No, we're going with this, and, hmm. Wow, actually, actually it looks really sweet. Uh, yeah, we're going with that, and we're going with, uh, the Infinity Judge and our, 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 uh, fire tablet, because that actually looks pretty sweet. It's like a red Infinity Judge. Okay, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's, let's continue through the dungeon now that I have decided what weapon we should use. So we have a Lockjaw, and we have Toby! Hey, Toby, what's up? I actually, I actually like this character. He's, he's unique, and, you know, he, he introduces a concept that I have never seen in Dungeon before. Not to my, yeah, I, I have never seen it in Dungeon other than this one. Racing someone, racing an enemy, to prove his worth and yours while simultaneously just progressing through the Dungeon? That's really neat. It just, it carries, it carries a lot of fun with it. So, uh, Toby, what's up? None of my comrades have ever made it this far. It would appear as, it would appear you are not an opponent to be taken lightly. But I have had enough. It shall all end here. I, Toby, shall risk it all in the Passage of Needles. Okay, Passage of Needles, okay. So we have that, we have that saw blade, and another saw blade up there, and a wall that we can blow up. Not really needles, but we'll roll with it, because maybe he has some hidden thing up his sleeve. So, yeah, let's actually get a running start. It seems really simple, which kind of scares me, because the simple ones always mean that he's going to be going really fast through them, Either that or really slow for fighting battle, but we're not going to be fighting battle here. So, I think I'm going to take a running start at this. I don't feel like I'm cheating either because, you know, he, he can move up to his full speed from a standing or floating position. So, I don't feel like this is giving myself any undue advantage. Let's do this. Oh, there are the needles. There are the needles. Okay, there's the door. So, we automatically won. Uh, freezing time here. I can see that there's nothing else for me to do in that room. So, let's go ahead and blow that, mo that thing up. And continue running. Now, I just realized by doing so, I actually missed out on the, what is it, 2,000 yen that winning that race provides. But, you know, it, it's fine. I'm I'm actually pretty rich right now. I'm, I have, what is that, 200? Yeah, 225,000 yen. So, I have no real concern for money. Okay, let's go up here. And go over here. And grab this. There's the key. There's nothing else for us to do up here. Uh, no window to go through, so let's jump down and go back through that hole in the wall. Okay, uh, will the needles come back? No, they won't. Okay. 
So that was actually pretty straightforward. It was very straightforward. And Toby is nowhere to be seen. Interesting. He's probably moved on to the next challenge. And we have an Igor <clears throat> lockjaw. Now, you're probably wondering why I keep reusing the Igor joke. It's not so much me reusing a joke as it is legit what I call lockjaws. I mean, oh, there, that's, that's not cool at all. Uh, yeah, it's what I call, it's what I call lockjaws because they, their eyes, you know, they're gored. So it was what I actually thought their official name was for the longest time. And then later I found out that they're actually lockjaws. But it's still hardwired in my mind to call them Igor, so I just still call them that. I, I find the name, subconsciously, I guess the name is interchangeable. Whoa. A statue, okay. A very big statue of a tiger. Holding a bow. Now that's one fierce looking statue. Look at how it's roaring up at the storm clouds. It's as if it's ready to leak up, leap up and take a bite out of the moon. But here's the problem. There's an enormous bow, but no arrows. The lack of a crucial element spells disaster for any masterpiece. Yeah, it does. Uh, so I guess we could we should do something about that. What a waste leaving a cool statue like this out here. It looks like a ferocious tiger bearing a humongous bow. But there's something missing here. Uh, th what is missing is the arrow that he is actually trying to shoot. So let's go ahead and use Rejuvenation to draw that in. There it is. Wow, the arrow blew away the storm clouds. Hey, look! Even in a place like this, we have a new brush technique. We have a constellation and another brush deity, the tiger. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. The evil forces which dwell here had sealed me away, but your arrival awakened me and restored the light within. You who walk the same pa battlefield as I, Gekikami, Gekikami, God of Thunder, deserve the power of lightning. Use it to crush our foes. At last, the twelfth god, Gek, I can't really pronounce this, Gek, Geki, Gekigami, I have trouble pronouncing it without making the K seem like a G. Thunderstorm, the fearsome brush technique for controlling thunder, is his trademark. I'm sure you can master that one, Ami. It belonged to you once. See, I know, see that sword statue over there? Try striking it with a bolt of lightning. When you see lightning shooting from the storm cloud, simply draw a line connecting it to the statue. That'll guide the lightning down to the target. Go on, give that sword statue a good zap. Why is it called thunderstorm? Thun thunderstorm? Thunderbolt? I don't know. Uh, when we're using lightning, thunder is a sound. Awesome! A lightning strike like that will zap a, an enemy real good. Hey, it looks like your lightning strike uh, strike opened that door. I wonder if it's controlled by some electrical mechanism or something. That that was a freebie. Let's head for the top of the castle with your new technique. Ami, there's only one more of those celestial brush techniques to go. Once you get that one, I will have seen all of the techniques. Won't be much longer now. But this is no time to shoot the breeze. We should get going, Furball. That we should. Uh, I'm curious. Because we got that technique, but we didn't get a scroll for it. Okay. Usually we get a scroll for it. That's... Kind of 
not upsetting because I don't <laughs> I don't read the scrolls anyway, but it's kind of puzzling. Okay, there's more lightning. Let's use the technique on it. And there we go. Thunderbolt away. And we turn that gear with the power of electricity. I'm kind of wondering how Isu knows about electricity. This is supposed to be ancient, ancient Japan, or an alternate ancient Japan. So why does he know about electricity? It's puzzling. Okay. There's a clover here. Nice to know that we can get praise even in a dark place like this. Sorry. There we go, praise. And it's... Couldn't really see that. Oh, there it is. 50 praise! Even in such a place, we get 50 praise from a clover, which... I've, if I'm not mistaken, that's that's the most praise we've ever gotten from a clover. There's more praise to be had in a evil lord's fortress than there is in the main world, though. Okay, I don't get it either. And a pointless golden gate. Okay, and a chest. That's something I'll definitely sign up for. A special chest with an electrical lock on it, an exorcism slip L. So now, uh, we, those things we see from the ceiling, we can just use those to, uh, to lightning stuff. We have the power of lightninging things. There we go. Boom. Whoa! Okay. That's a thing. Uh, let's go. Okay, that's very straightforward. Those things we have yet to see a use for, so we will be seeing one soon. And uh, we can't actually go through this door. So what we need to do is travel back down to the beginning because directly behind us, you can actually, you can actually kind of see it from here. With I'm not sure if that's draw distance or if they did that intentionally. They maybe they modified the draw distance so you could see the key because there's a key over there. And when we get closer, we'll see it's actually hidden behind a a, a scroll. I'm, that's more like a tapestry. So it's hidden behind the tapestry. And when we get back here, there's the key. Hmm? Wonder if that's a key. Pretty strange looking one if it is. You gotta be careful about what you pick up on it, Ami. I mean, who knows what might happen? You might get zapped or something. Don't didn't don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so we can pick up the key without being shocked, and then all these squares that we've seen a we've seen a, g a great deal of, uh, they will light up. Hmm. Whoa, what's with these contraptions? They lit up in a weird pattern. Wonder if it has anything to do with that little gizmo you just picked up. I'm sure. Ho I sure hope it's not going to trigger some kind of trap. Well, it doesn't seem to because we can walk across these newly created platforms now with ease without having to use the the Konohana blossoms. Whoa! Get back up here. There's something I have to say that this game improves upon. Um, you remember I've mentioned multiple times this game is actually inspired by the Zelda titles, and it is, but it doesn't. It doesn't make the same mistakes. Okay, it doesn't make the same mistakes that the uh, Zelda titles do. Let me hit you. Let me hit you. Two, three, four. Okay. In in the Zelda games, well, mostly the entire series, uh, when you get an item of a dungeon, and I overkilled that guy, uh, you use that item for the puzzles in that dungeon. But afterwards, you you don't use you don't use the item that much. I mean, you do use it from time to time but you very rarely use it in a dungeon. The exception to this would probably be like the hookshot slash claw shot, but still, that's one item uh, besides the dungeon item that you get to use. In Okami, it's not like that. While there are no items, the brush techniques are, are your items, and they don't, they don't become useless. They don't fade into obscurity. You still use them in all of the dungeons, which I really, really like. It feels, this game feels a lot like a Zelda title, and yet, it doesn't repeat the mistakes of Zelda, like predictable story, or, I don't know, the item usage thing. It, it breaks those trends. The Labyrinth of Torment. Sliding doors of... 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 <laughs> immense stress. There. How to play. Uh, go through one door and you'll be surrounded by more. Run up, down, and all around to your heart's content. Due to repeated use, there are cracks in some walls. Do not even think about using any kind of explosive on them. The Labyrinth of Torment is here is for the enjoyment of everyone on Oni Island. So try not to cause any troubles for trouble for others. And yes, they have rules and stuff. So this is basically just a maze. Uh, there is one exit to this maze other than the one we just entered. And uh, if I remember right, going through here is what will lead you to the end. So I would like to go through here first. 
Uh, there, uh, there's more to it than just a bunch of doors. Uh, there are treasure chests scattered throughout, but also there are some secrets, so you want to really look carefully. Uh, we're going to be coming across one of the secrets from memory. Uh, there's this, which we can grab. It's a Stilfasake. But then, we can go around here, and a dead end. Really? Is it, is it really a dead end? I was trying to sh I was trying to show something off and be cool. Are these arrows? I have no idea what, this, what these symbols mean. I'm not sure if they're kanji or what. Uh, yeah, but this actually seems to be a dead end. So this was a very bad example of secrets. Let's go through here. Boom, beat crash, shazamity lamb. Through here and there. Okay. Now the middle one is where the secrets really begin. See, my memory. My memory is sharp. Except it's not always. Okay, there's a chest here. I hope this isn't this part isn't making you dizzy because it it kind of is making me dizzy with all these doors opening and there's a secret right there there's a hole in the wall which I will get to in a second uh, I just want to go over here keep taking rights I want to stick to the right path since uh, the left is where the exit is if if I remember right I it's possible I'm not okay and there's another secret there's a hole in the in the uh, top part of the wall but it leads to a dead end but another hole okay another hole that leads to a chest that has glass beads in it. See, there are so many secrets. It's not it's not your typical thing. Okay, there's the exit. So you can, I can actually get to the exit from the middle the middle path. So I should probably exit and go see what the right path holds. Uh, are there chests? No. There's a chest here. There it is, a vase. And this is making me really dizzy. Not sick, mind you. Just extremely dizzy. It's... Just all of these doors opening in front of me just kind of confuses my eyes and makes them hurt a little bit. It's not something that I would wish upon others. Okay, there's another chest. And then after we get this last chest, I believe this is the exit. No, there's another chest. Okay, an exorcism slip L. Or S, sorry. And is that done, please? Okay, it is. So, this is what I want to do. I want to run through this and get through it as fast as possible because it's really claustrophobic and it's kind of painful to watch. Uh, here... Oh! New chest. With a vengeance slit. Okay. And are we near the end? Oh, no, another chest? Really? I missed two chests. Okay, well I'm, I'm glad I re-entered the middle path. And is that it? Uh, where do I go? Where? This way? This way? No. No. Wait, is that chest? No. Uh, this way? To the right? To the... No. Left. Yay! Okay, I made it. I made it, finally. Uh, why did I just draw a circle? This, that. Boom! And we're done. Okay, now I'm fully expecting a battle here. However, we've actually already faced a battle here. If you, uh, if you remember right, this is actually right next to the entrance of the whole dungeon right over there there's the there's the main room but if we if we pull a 180 you can see that there's a door over here which we can open with the key and I'd like to do so before we go ahead and place it in that pedestal in the beginning and we can open this chest and get a pearl so there's there's a nice secret that we saw from the very beginning but it's very easy to, for to forget okay so with that out of the way we can now place this key in the thing but, first, what I'd like to do, and what I'd relish doing, is see that guy? I want to zap him. Because it's fun. Okay. Now that my phone's over, key! In the keyhole! Turn it! And there we go! The gears are... What are the gears even powering? Like, we've seen... We've seen a couple sets of gears before, but... What are they powering? Obviously, it just opened the gate, but the gears are still turning, so what are they doing? Oh, um, also... If you place this key uh, in here before you thought to go access that door, you can actually, believe it or not, reach that door from here. It's not that hard, just make sure you're not touching a object closer to you, so like, move it along the floor and then bring it up on that key, and you will actually hit that, that trigger. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if you forgot to, uh, to access that room or not. Okay, let's go ahead and access these chests. And inside is a treasure, and the tre- no, an infinity stone. I should really see how much those sell for. There's really ex no excuse for me to sell those. For me not to sell those, sorry. Okay, uh, 
was that Zeus? It, look, it looks actually a lot like Zeus. I'm not going to lie. Now that's what I call a statue. Too bad it's wasted on the no good monsters here. Still, there's just something not right about it. Especially that raised sword there. I've seen Seven Strike, the legendary seven pronged sword, which were, which we did have equipped, but never a nine pronged sword. Okay, so a nine pronged sword, and did these hurt me? Oh, they they, they do. Okay, uh, duly noted. Okay, so you see you see that sword raised in the air. We've seen from those sword switches that uh, lighting them up with electricity will do something, so it should do something here. And indeed it does. It blows up the statue. That statue was way too good for the residents of Oni Island, so it must go. And chests. Okay, chests. Holy bone S. Okay, I I needed a mouthful, because that's all that is. Barely even a mouthful. With how, with how much health I have, it would take five of those to, to fill up my health completely. Okay, uh, before we go down there, I would actually like to point out a glitch. I discovered this during a failed take. If we jump in here, sorry, if we jump against this, sorry, if we jump against this, there we go. No, if we jump against this, we can actually get inside the pillar and we can't get out. We can't actually get out, but we can if we jump, although it's a little bit difficult. It, it kind of slows down your momentum a little bit. So yeah, and all the pillars are like this. You can actually get inside of the pillars and have fun. This is the definition of fun, guys. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's a really... I've noticed a, a few modeling glitches in this game. Uh, mainly were ones in the moon cave with those stalactites. And you could just phase through them, even though they're supposed to be solid. Like, they're solid at the base, but you could do the same thing. And I'm no sh not sure if they did that to conserve... To be able to make a bigger area. I'm not sure if that, that's how that works. But, actually, now that I think about it, it should be possible here should in in theory uh question uh here's here's my thought i maybe i'll do this right although it actually may crash the game or something enter from here nope okay N uh, my guess is that that fence kind of actually wait no it's not over there okay i was thinking maybe i can access an area that i can't normally through here but no that that wall kind of makes it so i can't okay so let's go ahead and progress before i whoa blue before i ramble on any further but glitches yeah so these gears are continuing down here so they're powering something we just have we have yet to see what oh the sound effect from super smash bros brawl in the in the 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 bomb factory yikes ami what did you do this time better think of something quick yeah, uh, it's kind of weird that I, I recognize that sound effect. So, uh, what you're supposed to do is power... S no, 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 no. Power slash all these eye switches, but there's one last one jerkishly hidden behind you. And that's it. Yeah, I have a really good ear for sound effects. It's it's something that my family kind of shares to some extent. Like, my, my mom is really, really good at picking out actors. Like... You, you could, she could see a movie as a, as a child of an actor when that actor was a child and then like 20 years later see that actor 20 years older and still recognize them and it's it's insane and then my dad can like recognize recognize uh, sets for TV shows and then I can recognize sound effects and voices I'm not sure what my what Nova can do <laughs> what, what can Nova do I think she kind of has a mix of a lot of us except for me. She has a mix of my mom and my dad, and that's cool. Let's go. <laughs> okay, side-scrolling portion. I have no objections to that. It's really nice that they mix up those types of things. And so we have diagrams on the walls. So that's interesting. And <laughs> a puzzle. Look at that puzzle, guys. I solved the puzzle. Wow. By, by lighting that, we actually lit up the background. And we can see that we're actually in, in the workings of what looks to be a gigantic clock. Oh, ah. I was hoping it'd be cool there. Okay, up, up. And then up. Up at Yugen, and I'll probably get a comment saying, you didn't get the pot, so I'll get the pot. There we go. It had a tiny bit of money. Whoa! Okay, we can't wall jump on that. That is a spiky thing, but we can short hop dash. 
and jump up here. I want to jump. I want to go over here first because there, there's stuff. You you never you never progress like you never take two steps forward without taking one step backwards. That's just that's just the rule of video games. Okay, let's see if I can do this. No. Oh wow, I didn't get hurt. I cheated death. Death has been cheated. Okay, let's get. Uh, that's not that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Up, down, up. That is much better. Okay, get up here, jump. And jump on this platform, or not. Let's do this. Jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, jump up here. No! Uh, jump, no. Uh, jump, up there. Amaterasu. Jump, jump. That worked. I just skipped two of the platforms. Here's my question, though. I still have the question. What are these gears running? They're obviously not running these plat. I mean, they are. They're powering these platforms, but it looks like these platforms are more of an afterthought than anything. They're just like, hey, we might as well use these gears for platforms since they're already here doing their job. So let's do it that way. And yeah, they're they're not for the platforms. They're for something else, but we don't. I don't know what. Huh. Also, it's really, really sticky and sweet that the background is moving. That's just really, that's really good. It's not something that you see of a lot of titles. Uh, I mean, you see them now more with like the Wii U and the the next gen, where they can afford to do that without sacrificing a bunch of other aspects. But yeah, it's really neat that they do that. Okay, over here, we want to go this way. Uh, that is a trapdoor that will drop you back to near the beginning. You don't want to skip that. So that one is really easy to vo avoid, but this one is not. You cannot jump over this. You cannot power slash these. I do not think you could blow them up, though I don't want to try. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is just walk up and dash. And you'll skip right over that with a little bit of room to spare. And we get an extra some slip L for that. And then we can do that, and that that secret is over. It, the secret is really... Whoa! The secret is really neat, because go out here you can't see the secret I mean you can sort of see the entrance from the right angle but the only thing that really hints you is that that area of wall right here where it is all kind of attached wait a minute that's weird you guys see that that's weird you get okay look at look in the upper right hand corner when we go through there stuff will appear on the right when we go through the left area that's interesting okay we can use that as a stepping stool to get up here, and this is actually a secret as well. We can vine up here, although it's kind of hard with a, with the key because it adds a different hitbox that kind of confuses the vine, so we have to avoid the key. Like, uh, drop the key, do this the right way. Okay, jump, jump, and do this. What? Game. Game. Yeah, it's, it's real, I don't get it, like, it's not working. There, finally, jump, this one is next, please work, there it is, okay. That wasn't actually too bad, it, it just didn't work at, at first, and why do I have the key in my mouth, I do not know. And we get a pearly clam clamp from Pikmin. And those trapdoors are a actually useful, uh, something I want to point out, way back there, um, that trapdoor that had spikes above it, that will actually lead, that will make you fall into a room with spikes, and you will respawn right next to that trap door. Uh, but these, these all actually send you back to near the beginning. But this one is useful because it brings us right next to, we can jump down here, it brings us near the, uh, no! No! Duh! It was supposed to bring us near the, the thing that we have to use this key on, but I fell, but actually that that wasn't that bad. I was still right next to that area, so it wasn't that that bad of an inconvenience. Okay, so we can jump up here and get out of this 2D section. Now it's actually not entirely 2D. I can't. I do have a little bit of leeway uh, in the uh, the Z plane here. I can walk back and forth, but it doesn't really do anything. But it's not true side scrolling. There is there is a, a Z plane going on. Okay, let's jump here and avoid these traps. Preferably but just by jumping over them. And now we're in this section. Another another mechanical section. 
where we can hopefully wait for this gap to show up and jump and jump through it and then wait for this one to show up and jump through it and that one ah, I barely I barely missed it but it's coming back around so I can jump through it jump through no nope, jump through no nope. uh, okay jump through there jump through it helps me it helps me a lot to say what I'm doing and I can't get back there for whatever reason okay let's go alrighty uh, we're in this room I'll take a peek just so we can see what we're getting into Okay, there's a door over there a switch right there a key right there and some stairs and a laser of course we can never forget the magical blue laser in the Orochi armor can, we, can I just hit this and I do it no it won't okay so yeah that is what we're going to be dealing with next episode thank you so much for watching uh, next time in pal plays Okami we'll be deal we'll be uh, traversing more of Oni Island hopefully wrapping it up next episode uh, if you like this comment, then if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.